Hello, my name is Nader Jawad, and I'm an engineer on the core Android graphics team. Today, we're going to talk about how to optimize your Android applications for stylus input by leveraging new low-latency graphics APIs. With over 270 million large-screen Android devices currently in use across tablets, foldables, and Chrome OS, it is a great opportunity to optimize your application's user experience for stylus on these devices. Android has always supported stylus input for quite some time. However, without optimizing your Android application, stylus input could be susceptible to input lag, leading to a delay between when the stylus glides across the screen to when the ink is visible on the display. As a result, the stylus experience does not match the feeling of ink flowing out of a pen. Let's take a moment to identify the sources of latency. There is input delay between the moment the stylus touches the display and when your application receives the input event. There's also latency within the graphics rendering pipeline. Android historically has leveraged multi-buffered rendering. This ensures smoothness in user experience with no visual tearing in exchange for some additional latency between when the application renders content and when that content is visible on display. With this mechanism, the display is consuming a buffer while the application is rendering into a separate one. Android has also supported front-buffered rendering for a number of releases. In this scenario, a buffer is simultaneously being presented by the display while being rendered by the application. This avoids the latency of multi-buffered rendering pipelines, but introduces the possibility for visual artifacts. Therefore, this is not recommended for general purpose graphics rendering. Enter the low latency Jetpack library. This library makes it easy to implement stylus-friendly user experiences. It leverages a combination of front and multi-buffered rendering to obtain both low latency graphics alongside high quality rendering without visual tearing artifacts. By leveraging these APIs, you can reduce graphics latency by 50% or more. Let's see how it works. When the user is actively drawing with the stylus, content is drawn into the front buffered layer to minimize latency. When the user lifts the stylus, the content is re-rendered into the multi-buffered layer while simultaneously hiding the active stroke layer. As a result, any potential rendering artifacts in the active layer are no longer visible. Let's see how to use this API. First, we create a GL front buffered render instance by providing our own class type to represent the input data used to render to the front and multi buffered layers. Then we provide a surface view instance that acts as the layer for multi buffered rendering, as well as the parent of the front buffered layer. Finally, we provide an implementation of GL front buffered renderer callbacks to specify our GL rendering logic. Let's dig into the callback implementation. There are two methods necessary to support low latency rendering. These include callbacks to render into the front and multi-buffered layers. OnDraw front buffered layer is invoked each time the in-progress stroke is updated. The contents are preserved across each call, so your rendering logic should only render the updates from the last invocation. Finally, when the contents are committed, OnDraw double buffered layer will be invoked and the entire scene should be re-rendered here. This method provides a collection of all the parameters used to render the in-progress stroke. Let's take a look to see how to use the GL front buffered render API. Within our touch handling logic, we keep track of the coordinates of the stylus input events. On each move event, we have enough points to draw a line so we call render front buffered layer to make the front buffer visible if it was not previously and call our GL rendering logic and on draw front buffered layer shown in the previous slide. Finally, when the stylus is lifted from the display, we invoke the commit method on the GL front buffered render instance. This will re-render the entire stroke into the multi buffered layer and simultaneously hide the front buffered layer. Let's take a moment to identify when we should leverage a low latency Jetpack library. Because front buffered rendering introduces the possibility for visual artifacts, this should only be used for stylus user experiences. This is not recommended for rendering your entire application UI. And with that, you have everything you need to implement low latency graphics. With hundreds of millions of large screen Android devices worldwide, now has never been a better time to optimize your applications for stylus input.